This is Christy George and this is my core concept for exam 4 and I will be explaining the DNA replication bubble. For DNA to begin synthesis, there has to be a specific sequence of DNA recognized by enzymes and this is called the origin, indicated in blue. DNA polymerase 3 is responsible for adding nucleotides to the growing strand of DNA and synthesizing the DNA, but it cannot simply begin without a primer. A primer is a short sequence of RNA made by primase in which the DNA polymerase can recognize and start binding from the 3' prime end. Now DNA synthesis is synthesized in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction of the new strand. So when a primer is added, it is added in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction. DNA polymerase recognizes this and begins synthesizing and adding nucleotides in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction. Because this is a continuous strand, it is called the leading strand. Now on the opposite side of the strand, it is also being synthesized in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Therefore, a primer is placed by primase in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, and DNA polymerase synthesizes DNA in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Another primer is placed above in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction and DNA polymerase synthesizes DNA in parts. As you can see, the primer and DNA polymerase alternate backwards along the DNA fragment to be synthesized in what we call Okazaki fragments. This DNA strand that is being synthesized in parts is called the lagging strand. However, on this side, primer can simply be added in the five prime to three prime direction. DNA polymerase recognizes this and begins adding nucleotides continuously without having to be synthesized in parts, making this now the leading strand. On the opposite side, primer is added in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. DNA polymerase synthesizes DNA in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction in parts again. And as you can see, it is backwards like earlier. And this happens again along this entire side of the strand. Now this is the lagging strand. To connect the parts of the lagging strand, DNA ligase comes and binds the parts together. And that is how DNA is replicated.